Everybody wants a life filled with health and vitality, to look and feel good. But to a lot of people, this represents change from their current situation. As a result, many people will reach out to health professionals to help them to improve their health and fitness level. Despite the population outcry to be healthier, in reality, the current state of mental and physical health is on a decline. Currently, not only is there an upward trajectory of healthcare costs, there is also a large increase in conditions like obesity, diabetes, Alzheimer, and depression. Malaysia's obesity rate is also the highest in Asia. Clearly, the current health and fitness programs out there aren't enough, and at some level, not working. Why is this so? Well, this has a lot to do with how our brains work. Here's our brain. There are two core motivations, to minimize danger and maximize reward. Let's take a look at the danger. The brain is most focused on clear and present dangers that induce a strong emotional response, such as tigers, snakes, and crocodiles. It is much less influenced by dangers and threats that are far off in the future. The traditional approach from health and fitness professionals is to try and convince the people if they don't eat better, exercise more, or lose weight, it is highly possible that they will develop chronic disease in the future and quite possibly die early. Unfortunately, this distant danger does not engage the brain immediately. In addition, traditional health and fitness professionals present health information in a scientific way that means a lot to them, but not a lot to the everyday people. This fails to engage with the brain because it does not connect people at an emotional level. A smarter approach is to present this health information in a meaningful way. Using BioScore, Fitness First Health and Fitness Assessment, which tells you how young you are biologically in comparison to your actual age. This helps to stimulate our brain to take notice by creating an emotional connection to the danger ahead. Once the brain is engaged, then only it can embark on a behaviour change journey. The assessment, conducted by a trained BioScore trainer, looks at a person's health, lifestyle and physical fitness levels, and for each test it will assess whether the result is making a person's BioScore older or younger, helping a person to discover what is important to him or her. This is known as self-determination and it is critical to behaviour change. Momentum is achieved by showing the brain a clear path to success. Breaking large goals down to a series of smaller steps or many goals with regular feedback to build self-efficacy which keeps the brain engaged. The chances of lasting success are greatly increased by using behavioural science strategies such as gamification, social evidence, rituals and triggers to help build positive habits. BioScore uses these strategies to help our trainers to facilitate lasting behavioural change to our members. BioScore is exclusive to Fitness First and aligns with our philosophy of dynamic movement training.